Discretion is advised. Happy Monday. You're listening and or watching Pwncast. This is episode 154. We are finally in patch 7.2. Tonight we're going to be talking about what else? Patch 7.2. That's basically on the agenda. We got news from the Nerdland all around World of Warcraft and a mob level eye level scaling scandal that erupted uh with a launch of 7.2 we have that and much much more so make sure you guys stay right here you have crossed into the world of the dead in search of answers amongst the azeroth elite there is a group that defies convention a group that stands in the face of trolls and doesn't flinch a group that strives on unity trust and unwavering resolve a group that eats tacos for the players, by the players, we bring you... She can start a revolt with a Chaos Bolt, Bell, the Pwncast Vanguard. Snap back and get faster for the pet battle Grandmaster, Gemma Banks. He's sharp as a dagger with that dapper swagger, Secret Sauce. With Holy Might as strong as his ancient knowledge, Remedies, the Argent Loremaster. We bow to no one. We are Legion. We are Pwncast. It's that time again, folks. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know. These guys were kind of a pain in the butt prior to the show, so I don't really know if I'm going to unmute them. I feel like I should just leave, <laughs> leave them muted with all of their random crap talking and just see how that fancies. Uh, I mean, they're all wearing hats, and I seem to be the only person on the planet that is not wearing a hat. Uh I guess I can unmute them now. Let's <laughs> verbally attack her now. You can't yeah. verbally attack me, guys. We, we just will. That's very mean. Oh, man. You guys we are all wearing hats. Did I not get the memo? Is there a memo that I missed? Yeah, the memo well, was prior no, to the you, show. And you, you missed didn't the memo. And Secret missed the memo. He's not wearing an Alliance hat. You're not wearing a hat at all. Hey, what are you guys doing? I can go put my Alliance hat on right now. You want me to do I have it? a really big forehead. I don't think my any hats will fit over. Uh, me too. That's why I wear hats. I have a big forehead too. And it, True and story. I, awkward. Uh, but welcome back, guys. I did bring the monk who pays full price for Blizzard gear, only to find it on sale later. Jimma, you kind of got hosed a no, little. You, you got duped. On your, what a hoser, eh? You, you got, that was a good setup. You set him up by knocking him down. <laughs> hoser, eh? Um, yeah, so that sale happened, right? And I didn't even know the hats were there until Sauce was looking through them. So I brought up the sale pre-show and, and we all got going and Belle really didn't want to look at them because she's trying not to spend money because she's got BlizzCon tickets. Yeah. So it was not laggy. Literally, I tried to buy it for 24 hours. If you've tried to buy it, most of you know when the sale first happened, the site was just like, yep. yeah. So I gave up and it's been a, a day or two or maybe just a day and, and gone. The, the Alliance jumpsuit, I, the pants were gone, so I, I didn't get it. And I want the lounge them. pants. Yeah, the, I wanted to rock the I, lounge pants. I need to. I need period. to be honest with you guys, though. It's not a spring sale. Like Blizzard labeled it a spring sale, but it's really clear. Most Americans got their taxes back sale. It's not necessarily like because me, it's spring. The, it's because it's tax season, and Blizzard is well, smart and, because they're banking on people getting their refunds. And right? it's the stuff from last year too. So <laughs> well, it's the yeah, 2016 collection as well. So. Valid. But you brought up the hat. 50 bucks. I paid for it at BlizzCon. It's a monumental thing. I just bought a Horde and Alliance one, same one. That light that, up. Oh, you bought that at BlizzCon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. I remember. Blizz you're right. With the homie you're Eric. Right. Uh, soiled myself, excuse me. Yeah, but uh, right. yeah, anyways, I bought 1250 Go get them while supplies last. Sure did. Like now. Please. I did have a bunch of stuff in the cart earlier today. <laughs> and then I was like, shit, BlizzCon tickets go on sale on Wednesday. I already spent the budget that I had for BlizzCon tickets because I had to pay a, a bill that I forgot that mm. I needed to pay. So it basically it came down to either registering my car or buying BlizzCon tickets. So I got a temp tag for my car. <laughs> and this month is bonus month at work. So I'll be able to <clears throat> do everything at the end of the month. I just need to make sure I secure my ticket because... That would be a bonus. Yeah, that's I don't. That's priority one for me. So mm -hmm, we're gonna mm -hmm. be getting the tickets on mm -hmm. Wednesday. But uh, bam, bam. 
I am happy that you ordered several of your hats. Uh, so 12 50 So push pause push and go buy them and no, then come don't back ever pause them. the episode to purchase stuff. Never. Do it at the same time. Open up a new browser or if you're, you're on your smart. phone, multitask. Don't, you're good. Don't put us down for anything, guys. Stay with us. I did, I did also bring the priest who told the Mage Tower healing scenario to kiss his ass. Secret, is this because you're doing it as healing and it's super difficult as a healer and this is the challenge... The challenge that was opened with the Mage Tower, which I'm going to be talking about that uh, right. right after this. So, so when uh, when Broken Shores open, then you can go to the the table to, to determine which which building you're going to put up first. I mean, I did the Mage Tower for the for the challenge, and that thing's rough. Like even people I know that are like nine oh five, nine ten, <clears> like <throat> they're having a hard time, and it just really come, comes down to we've seen the scenario. From the proving grounds from from Mist and those those AIs actually perform everything like they're supposed to like a, an actual little it's encounter. like textbook right it's textbook yeah not for this one fuck no oh. <laughs> hell no was... that tank mitigates zero the rogue is an idiot and the hunter is on a hunter oh because yeah, you're a healer so that. yeah there yeah I saw something about that on Twitter where it's like it uh, uh, displayed a dungeon perfectly <laughs> yes and, 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 and LFR. I'm like, and I'm the one penalized for for healing my ass off. So I I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up hot fixing this. Um, I'm not saying that I'm I'm for it because I know with the, with better gear it, it's gonna be a little easier. But still, when it's intended to be quite difficult, right? And and like that's that's a part I understand. But it's it's to a degree where I'm yelling at the fucking computer because <laughs> he's not. Shield Lots of people have passed or... it though. That's why I think they're not going to nerf yeah. it. Which we'll talk about that when well, we yeah. talk about it in the news. But okay, I, yeah, I agree, and I will go on the record and agree with you, and I'll tell you my little. Oh yeah. Which you were online. When... <laughs> yeah, I'll tell. You. I'll tell that story when I, when we talk about it. Uh, well, we are happy to have you here. I did also bring the paladin who finally prestige in PvP. Fucking scrub. Remedies. Yeah, I neglected. Uh, neglected. PvP a lot, like a lot, a lot, and I finally prestige when they nerfed all the requirements for. Same Z's. <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> uh, that was not, it was supposed to be funny. Before anyway. work, I was finishing up the prestige. Yeah, good time. I have to be careful, Ram, because people think I mistreat you on the show. So I just want to make sure you know I'm just joking. I'm a I, woman. You I love, hurt. I love and support you, but people seem to think that. You're Tina and I'm Ike, which is kind of funny. Uh, you guys knew uh, I was going to say something. I was going to throw a little bit of shade. Uh, because If it, you love something, let it go. Yeah, he's abused, I'm guys. Totally I, fine, I, guys. I, I love my life. <laughs> that, that mark on his eye, he ran into a door. Uh, I love and protect him. I would never harm him. <laughs> Whatsoever. Yeah, I fell down the, did, I fell down the you, stairs, you, guys. Did you beat him? <laughs> no, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't think Jim saw your little, your little note. <laughs> I didn't. Hang on, he'll show you. I forgot it's mirrored, but I see it normal. I'm fine, guys. <laughs> oh no! All so, bad. So, <clears throat> to the person who commented on how uh, terrible I am to, to Rem. Guys, Rem's my best friend. I would right. literally, like, I would set things on fire for him, so he doesn't need a protector, especially not for me, uh, because reasons. So, guys, Dark Moon Fair, take advantage of the reputation buff for Legion Fall and go get your buff in Dark Moon Fair and then do things on Broken Shore and do your do the cha-chas, guys. Make it happen. Even even better, get the, the, to uh, the tickets and then get the hat. Yes. Then you keep on going back throughout the week. The hat. The alliance hat? That I, I no, the, no, no, oh, no. Okay. The hat on, on uh, in Dark Moon Fair, right? I, I know. That, too. <laughs> yeah, so too. go go get your get your hat. Go get your buffs, reps. I don't... I'll go into there and do it. I won't do anything that involves me doing anything in Dark Moon Fair. I don't particularly fancy it. I don't know why I don't like it. Um, somebody uh, asked me the other day, they're like, why do you hate it? I don't really know. It just doesn't... Tickle my fancy, and everybody should have a fancy tickle. It, it did when it first came out, and now 
I just I can't see myself doing it anymore. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's kind of like the circus IRL. It just gets old. It's valid. Uh, also, yeah. the no, first no, set no, of like, PvP wow. brawls does open on Tuesday. The first one up is going to be Frozen. Uh, that would be PvP brawl Let number four. Um, because there is five, and I forgot to freaking I forgot where I put my list, but I did confirm <laughs> that there is five. Uh, I but thought we confirmed it's three. The first one is going to be Frozen, which it, basically all of Arathi Basin is frozen. So okay. I'm excited for that because Arathi Basin, We're, yeah. So that, that'd be pretty neat. This, or yeah, so your lumber mill, your goblin mine, blacksmith, all right. that's going to be snow covered, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice. It's actually okay. one of my favorite PvP. maps. Is there any other effects besides just it, it's frozen? Is it going to be actually snowing? I, That'd be pretty I don't know. I, that was the one that never populated in PTR for me to be able to test it. Actually, so that could change the blacksmith if that water mm -hmm. that will moat is frozen. I know. Yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. You're, I I like the way you think, but we'll be we'll Rem will be testing it out tomorrow. Or, so get or excited. Or you could fall Yarp. in it. It might have little mechanics to it, where you could run through it, and then if you hit the wrong spot, this you is could why fall we in. should be developers. This is why we should be game <laughs> testers and get paid to sit at home and video game all day. Like I, I did that. Too. I did that. I should have stayed there. Um, also, <laughs> April 5th, which is Wednesday, March of the Tadpoles. Today, the baby Winterfin Murlocs of Borean Tundra complete their trip across the West Aww. Rift. The event lasts one day and one day only, so don't miss out on the fun. That was directly from World of Warcraft. Uh, I'm going to do it. It's probably the only one that I would like to see besides the hatching of the hippogriffs. hippogriffs. It sounds uh, like uh, that, that penguin documentary. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I I see what okay. you did there. Okay. You cute. You happy feet, right? No. March no. of the Penguins. Oh, no. The yes. There you go. There's yeah. so many Disney movies that are exactly alike. They just are different names. It's but happy feet about. is a is a good. Uh, time walking for Burning Crusade, April 4th through the 10th. So go get your time walking. I can't wait to not do any of those things, but um, you know, go do it. I can't wait to get my mail. Uh, Congrats. BlizzCon tickets do go on. The first set of tickets go on sale Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Oh, cool! I'm, I'm gonna get work. one. I will be in, the, yeah, Two. in the action securing my ticket. Um, blowing everyone. Yeah, I'm. Well, we're pretty good. Like our luck is pretty good, so we should be. I That's like. how I was buying the clothes. Like, you know how you gave the tips for buying the tickets? Open a bunch of windows and be with your friends. I had multiple windows open trying to buy those alliance. <laughs> oh, man. I can't help you. Sausted before the show, okay. we ordered them. I can't help you. Ready. So as Secret was talking April about 8th. for NA Realms and then just a couple hours ago for EU Realms, uh, the Mage Tower is up. Now, in case you guys haven't noticed, these... Buildings that you construct in Broken Shore, uh, those are realms, they're region specific. So each mm -hmm. region, <clears throat> everybody puts into it. They did recently nerf the total amount of Legion Fall War supplies that were required to be able to build this building. Now, what oh, does this okay. mean? This basically means that um, that building is active for three days. And then my assumption would be whatever the next building people have been dumping their resources into will be the next one that's up. Part of what you get from this outside of the mage portal, the the portals to all the different uh, zones in so Broken Having those Shore. portals is amazing. Isn't it? So, like, I thought that that was just really convenient for us yeah. to not. It would be nice if that building was I, up I all currently the time. have my hearth at the Broken Shore just for that reason. Um, and then there's yeah, buffs that go along with these buildings. So right now the current buff is uh, the Artifact Challenge, which basically is, that's not a buff, that's a whatever you want to call it. That's a torture. So you yeah. go, you get the quest, and it <clears throat> it depends what scenario you get dropped into. Um, I attempted this earlier. It was very reminiscent of the Warlock Greenfire quest. I got one shot initially because I, I got the the worm one, and I, kill, I was attacking the worm when you should have been attacking the other guy. Long story short, it's very difficult, as Secret had mentioned. Now, I do think it's sufficiently difficult because it should be because it is, in fact, a challenge. It's supposed to test your highest skill, <laughs> The highest mountain and the highest region, the highest world and the highest place of you knowing everything that you should know about your class. However, someone like Secret that struggles who's pretty well versed in his class. I mean, there the world first was a warlock, of course. What's what's I'm back? pretty sure affliction. <laughs> affliction. <laughs> like I'm I didn't even ask because I feel like I just am psychic and I just know it's gonna be affliction. 
Destro is literally the bottom of the DPS. It's literally third from the bottom. Well, why don't you try one of the other specs then? I would rather stick my head <laughs> in a meat grinder. Uh, I, I would actually. rather you PvP me. Uh, also, yeah. part of the things that you get with this building is the veiled worm tongue chests are visible. Mm. So you'll be able to actually see those, which is nice because there's... Those, those are nice. Legion Fall War Supplies, Nether Shards, Rando shit is in there. Wait, is that what the Mage Tower? Yeah. yeah, that's what the Mage Tower. And then, of course, you have the portals that take you that. everywhere. Mm. Now, there's also a really nice buff called Knowledgeable, and that's while this building is activated. Knowledgeable, when you loot artifact power from a dungeon or raid, um, obviously in Legion content, so this is Broken Isle content, so if you're in a Broken Isle dungeon, um, the possibility of getting a bonus AP token. Uh, is, I can confirm it works with yeah, and then And then you, you get the token and you go turn it in on Broken Shore, right, to get the AP? No, no, no. Oh, it, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's an actual item. So The tooltip said on... to return it to the guy on the Broken mm -hmm. Shore, so I don't know. No, what I haven't gotten a single one of those, so I don't know how rare it is. But I you are getting it... bonus. You're getting a oh, bonus token. Oh, I'm getting token? super bonus mm -hmm. tokens, yeah. Mm -hmm. They have 400,000. But you're, so you're getting two then. You're getting two tokens. Cause you're well, be... it's sometimes. I, I got two, and then I looted the box, and I got another. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, oh. that's it's basically uh, that's the buff. It's called Knowledgeable. That's your buff while that building is active. So I'm not sure if that buff is a daily buff. I don't know if that buff rotates. I didn't look a whole lot on those on the command board with those different buildings just because, I'm going to be honest, it's, I didn't really care. But It's up 100%. It's 100% the same? Okay. Mm -hmm. As long um, as that building is up, yeah. Got right. it. So that'll be up for the next two and a half, you know, some odd days. So if you're interested in doing that challenge scenario, there's plenty of people that have videos up on it already. Van Ruki has one on doing it as an arcane mage. Millions of people have already done a video. Bell's not going to do a video because I literally cannot do something equal to the um, Green Fire Quest. I cannot, I cannot deal with my life doing that equal to the Green Fire Quest. Well, I, how I many more views you got to get? You got a 50k. I know, you know I oh know. God. And the other one just hit 15k for the. Uh, the thing of Van Rookie, did he ice block? Uh, effect, uh, effect he probably did because down goes Van Rookie. Now. I have a soundbite of that somewhere, of that specific moment in time when they lost that, uh, when they lost that match because he did an ice block. But we should have a soundboard. I know of all method oh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> also, this wasn't even on the news, and I don't know why. I'm really frustrated that I didn't put this on there, but I don't really need notes to put it on there because I've been thinking about this since it was Tell announced. Us. So I know there's a lot of you that follow Method. There's probably a lot of you that don't follow Method, and that's quite all right. They're but uh, on the 31st, it was announced that Method had acquired three people for their PvP for mm -hmm. their arenas. Now, these people, one of them is one of my favorites, even though they weren't me Method previously, um, but it is the Splice guys. Now, these guys have yep. together combined, like two of them have won three tournaments at BlizzCon. Okay, two of them have won three different tournaments, and the other ones won two tournaments. You're talking about the team that took Sidhu's win from him. Like, he, they stole his win, and Method signed them. Now, there's a few things wow. that I want to talk about in regards to that, but the funny part is, so we've got um, Botar, which, guys, it's royalty. Like, it's I, I can't stress enough how... They all look really awkward, by the way, because they're like, they're all like super young. Um, they're mm -hmm. like really young guys, but like early twenties, like maybe twelve. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> but Botar, he is their resto druid, so he won 2015 and 2016 uh, right. BlizzCon tournament. And wow. Splice used to be something else before they were Splice. I can't remember off the top uh, of my head. Oh my god, I can't we talked remember. about this already. It was something gaming. Or... I used to know the manager of the game before they changed their name Splice. I used to, I, but I can't for the life of me. Then you have Fabs, which Fabs is the warlock. Um, he won 2010, 2015, and 2016 um, BlizzCon. So these are seasoned guys, right? They, they're calling them Triforce. Blizz, uh, Method's calling them Triforce. Last, but certainly not least, is my absolute favorite, which is Swapsy. He's a shaman, and he's one of my fla fi my favorite guys. They're he's called my uh, follow following esports. That's he's, what he's been known as. He, yes, it was follow esports. You are absolutely one hundred percent right. They were follow esports. Now listen, he was my favorite, and uh, he's a shaman. He won two thousand fifteen and two thousand sixteen's BlizzCon tournament. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean? I don't they're know. Gonna, they're going to lose in the finals. No, to some, I, I, some it hasn't even been announced that they're being the ones going to BlizzCon mm -hmm. because 
What about C dude? What about Snuts? Can they only what have about one Officer Bean? Bean? They're gonna have method method two. Watch. Now yeah, they, here's the thing. I could probably work. find out this information because I happen to know uh, somebody that works at Method. However, I really like not knowing these kind of things when it comes to Method. I I like being the fan and being surprised when stuff happens. So I could probably easily find out what the future holds, but I know that they're being signed for tournaments, right? What did Blizzard just recently oh, announce? Okay. They just, you know, announced the increase in tournaments for esports yep. in general, but these guys are legendary. Swapsy is literally second second to Ben Rookie. Like he I guys he was before Ben Rookie. I was obsessed with tournament. him before Ben Rookie, but my first was Talbadar. What an exciting time for Method. So I'm super excited and congratulations. I don't know what this means yet, um, but I, here's what I want to say about Sko, and this is the reason I respect this man. If I was him, I would have done the same thing. I would have been like, hmm, my team has gone to, to several BlizzCons and we haven't won one. What could I do? I'm going to take the guys that have been winning BlizzCon and kicking my team's ass and I'm going to make them under the umbrella of method uh, but i think these guys are eu so i think this puts us in i think it's a different i don't know what that means in regards to the tournament but i know that m most of these guys are eu so they i could have can't they have more than one team yeah qualified? but i i just i don't know what that means and i don't know what this means in in relation well, to cdu they're already method eu what is it they're already a method yeah EU? there is a method eu which they're they're method eu i i don't know where they're at on the ladders but I know that they didn't. I think Method A, Method NA knocked Method EU out of the, the tournament last year. I think so. I, um, I remember seeing both names. Yeah, and it was bracket, so. it was. I didn't know who to go for. Like I was literally so in between. Like where do I go? What do I do? Who do I love? Um, she was screaming. I was <laughs> very loudly, uh, but I didn't even put that on the notes today, and I didn't even have to read anything because. I'm one of those weird people when it's something I really like. I remember all the things like player stats and weird shit when it comes to PvP. So, <sighs> congratulations. Really excited to see what that brings. I will do a little bit of digging and kind of see what this, you know, what this means moving forward for Method. They got to do something because they're losing and I'm getting sick of their shit. And I'm, I'm sure there's more details, losing. but they're going to obviously play in the tournament. I, like, I just don't just... know. I, what does, I just don't know you what don't this means. sign guys that will have won tournaments to not break. I, I know that this would mean them for EU, but my problem is if they, if EU and NA go up against each other and as that stands, like, I don't think NA can beat them. I, I, I went on the record and said that, guys. Don't beat me up, okay? Just don't tell me. being honest. I mean, so what was the shaman's opinion. name again? What? what? Oh, the shaman swapsy. Oh, I just think it's someone else. Come on. Go on. Do I have your yeah, permission? Dude. I want to make sure people don't think I'm being mean to you. Ooh. So I'm going to say please and thank you. And <laughs> I'm going to smile every time I talk to you so everybody knows yeah, I'm always. super happy. <laughs> I'll hold off on their training order for now. <laughs> That's right. Get back in the kitchen, Tina. Uh, <laughs> so. Come get your dinner. <laughs> So many of you have watched uh, some of the guides that I've done on the YouTube channel and have already figured out about the content being uh, basically being fed to us, right? Where they're hand feeding us this content as the weeks progress. Like an now, airplane. A lot of people have complained, well, why didn't they just give it to us all at the launch, launch of the patch? I was talking Cause, about cause it. Because it would get boring. Well, I was talking about it with Softy yesterday. It was either yesterday or the day before, and I just thought, you know, he's kind of, that, that's kind of a valid point. However... He agreed, and I kind of agreed, like, we wouldn't know where to start. There's so many things to do if they would have given us everything at once, right? Like, this way, we slowly kind of got to acclimate to being on Broken Shore and doing what we needed to do on Broken Shore. And then Tuesday, which the next set of content that's being released Tuesday is going to be the Legion Assaults. And then, of course, the PvP Brawls. Now, the Assaults is what you need for Pathfinder Part 2. Mm -hmm. So you need two things for pa Pathfinder Part 2. You need the Assaults, and you need the Reputation. Now... Most of you should be honored already with Legion Fall. If you're not honored already and you're not actively trying to get honored, you're doing it wrong because you should easily be honored. I do not have a lot of game time. I can maybe play three, four times a week and I've managed to be honored. It's really not that difficult. As long as you're managing, do your mission board too if you work. Make sure if you get any token missions on your phone. But you should easily be honored by now. Um, Speaking of that, <clears throat> I'll be honored tonight. Yeah, you should... 
you know, by I'm, Tuesday, everybody should be relatively honored. Um, I think I'm right near it, so that's why I'm not really worried well, about And it. more stuff opens up, so you'll get tons yeah. of reputation doing the Legion Assaults. I think it's like 1,500 per complete Legion Assault, and you have to do, you know, I think it's so four, four of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to do four of them. So you're going to get a, you know, plus you get stuff for killing, and there's, the Legion Assaults, there's like four parts to each assault on each zone. So with um, that opening... <clears throat> I would probably say by week three, most of the people that are actively working on their Pathfinder should we'll have it completed. Close to, yeah. close to revered. Yeah. And be able to get even it though, done. Even though my opinion isn't needed, my only problem with them gating it everything was they didn't let us know. They were like, after the fact. I agree. Like, and that like, was actually, okay, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. You don't, no, you're oh, right. Well, and I agree. I think they should have disclosed, by the way, we're going to spoon feed you your, your stuff little by your little. Content. But we're not going to tell you. We're just going to let you figure it out for yourself when people... Because the first... What did I do? The first thing when we logged in and onto Deliverance Point is I'm like, where's the assaults? I want to get those done because that's on my to-do hey, list to get flying. You're like, uh, what's, what, what's going on? I looked everywhere and they... <clears throat> it was almost like an hour or two after mm -hmm. b before people were like, hey, what about the Legion assaults? And I think Wowhead actually might have posted it. I don't know how that went. I don't really know how that went. Uh, what's his nuts? Um... Ornix. Ornix, yeah, yeah, the little space goat on the forums. Uh, for know. week three, which for week three for us, um, week three would be the 11th. Mm -hmm. Chapter five of the Class Order Hall campaign unlocks, which is basically um, you can purchase it and uh, get it started. I think it's like, I don't know what the cooldown is on, on how long it takes to do that uh, advancement. And that gives you uh, activates an additional follower, right? That's the if one you that go if you go that route. There is yeah. two. There is one where it gives you another uh, troop or something. I'm going with the hero. Yeah, some some shit I'm not gonna do. So. But it's exactly. in two tiers, so. Right. You you'll have to do the one before the other. Mm hmm. Truth. So you'll you'll get the follower, which is nice. Uh, new order hall upgrades, class specific world quests will be unlocked. Um, so there'll be oh, more yeah. things to do yeah. in Broken Shore, which is really nice. Now, just so that I've reiterated, you cannot get the quest in your order hall for your class mount until you have unlocked flying. You actually right. physically have to get the unlocking flying before you'll get the quest that will proc some one of your NPCs in your order hall will have it. You can't do any of that. So if you are thinking flying is not important, if you want your class mount, it's yeah, kind buddy. of important. Um, and then... Like, no. Weeks 4 through 11, ongoing story pieces unlock, leading to the eventual opening of the Tumas Argaris raid and the ability to earn class mount. So, um, which they're saying week 4, the ability to, I think maybe that's how long they expect it to take people um, to get their class mounts. For the Warlock, I already told you guys, you have to fight a boss after you do a string of bullshit. And then you have to fight a boss, and it's very reminiscent of the Green Fire quest. And after like three times, I'm like, it's just PTR. I meant doing this crap in PTR. I'll wait till no. it's live. Somebody will do a good guide video on it, and then I'll be able to get it done and be. Be Gucci. Yeah, it was difficult. I got about halfway through, and I died every time. So the the class hall mount, the class mount quests will be sufficiently difficult. It's meant to challenge you. Why should we give you a class mount? You have to earn it. Um, so. Now, following that scandal, <clears throat> or this, the next scandal is following. So, a thing happened. All during PTR, Blizzard had a mob eye level scaling mechanic in place, where the mobs scaled with your item level. Not your, well, I mean with your level, but scaled with your item level. Now, some of you may be thinking, Bell, what the fuck does this even mean? Well, guys, it means that no matter how powerful you get gear-wise, you will always struggle when killing anything on Broken Isles. No matter how much you have worked hard to be powerful. So, people noticed. Blizzard said, well, nobody noticed it in PTR. Do you want me to tell you why nobody noticed it in PTR? Nobody because does. nobody gives a fuck. Because every Tom, Dick, and Harry is in PTR just because they want to check out the new visuals and the new shit. Right. Nobody, nobody pays attention to that. But then, upon looking, there are some forum posts that have questioned it that nobody paid attention to. So there was people that did question it in PTR. You know, those guys, those guys that, that their specific thing is to make Blizzard miserable. So they find stuff to, you know, to deal with. 
So basically, Blizzard issued a statement and was like, hey, by the way, we apologize. We didn't tell anybody about this, but it was important that we got proper feedback and we wanted to see if anybody would notice. Nobody noticed, so we released it with live, thinking nobody will notice. Well, a whole shit ton of people notice, and people were pissed off. I just want to know whose fucking idea it was, like... I mean, I, I don't, I don't get that concept. I get, I get the level concept. I love the gear, level concept. I yeah, think the that's gear great. concept, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Because, because the world quest don't even drop nine hundred gear. So, let's just yeah, go with that. Why are my eight? So you gear? mean to tell me that I bust my ass gearing and I got to struggle to walk across the map because it doesn't matter to me? You're yeah. forcing me to grind all this bullshit for my artifact power for a weapon. For this is just for one, right? You're making it difficult for me to to alt. I can alt and there's a catch up mechanic and that's all fine and dandy. However, now you're going to tell me no matter how powerful I get, I don't I can't just easily walk through a zone to herb no. or mine or something that I've earned, right? As players, we're not I don't think this argument is asking for you to hand us stuff. I think this argument is saying there should be a point where you outlevel what you're doing because that is the nature of things. Right. You become powerful so that you can go and easily it's still a at, That's what drives MMOs, yeah. But even at level scaling, it's still a challenge, right? It's still a little bit difficult to herb and stuff like that. You have to kill stuff. Yeah, but that, like, that's, that's can different. Can you imagine if we would have went to Suramar and I didn't know that that's what happened? Like, how oh, many people that. were mad when they went to Suramar and was like, why can't we kill anything? Because it's scaled to your item level and it was already difficult in Suramar. So basically, oh, would be terrible. It's even better when one hit dismounts you. <laughs> Ornix once again goes on the horn and says, "You know, we apologize. Uh, we're removing the increase of damage dealt by creatures in the world. Like we're rectifying this to a a, a pretty serious degree. Uh, where you know we weren't hiding it, which you did in fact hide it. We weren't keeping it from you, which you did in fact keep it. Um, I do wonder when they said it went unnoticed and." Largely it did. Not many people noticed. I think it's because the nature of PTR. And we've talked yeah, about but, this but, before. But how but big of a post did it have to be for them to notice it? You know what I'm saying? And it was something where there was a few posts where it wasn't really a lot of thought. It was just, hey, the mobs seem harder. Did you, you know, did you do something? But right. how many people spent a large amount of time in the zone doing stuff? How many people actually spent that time? What was the purpose of PTR? The purpose of PTR is because Broken Shore was being open. Where did people spend 90% of their time? Broken Shore. That would mm. be, I mean, that's where I spent my time, Broken Shore, right. in doing the dungeon and doing the raids. Like, people, I don't think, were really out in the world. Out and about doing, like, all Doing stuff. enough stuff for it to matter. Now, I do agree, and I appreciate that Blizzard tried to get untainted feedback right with a change of this magnitude they wanted to make sure that they weren't getting people crying about stuff being difficult they really i understand the reasoning but you really gotta be careful because people will call you on your shit so i don't really know what's going to come of it but i think we can ex i think we can expect it to not be a thing um don't change it i they already have but right <clears throat> They've, they've scaled it back. I think we can expect our side of things to win with the understanding of I should, you don't give me much more reward for what I do now. There's not a whole lot of reward that I get. Um, the only reward that I do get is to be able to go and kill shit with ease because I've earned that with my gear. So if you could please continue to allow me to feel powerful when I have to go through Azuna for something or if I'm herbing or mining or, or something, I don't want it to be easy but i certainly don't want to spend 20 fucking minutes killing things while i'm trying to farm when i have out geared and deserve it mm -hmm. if you're 900 910 920 whatever your item level is you've earned that right to be powerful and people want to feel that power so that scandal it was quite scandalous people were really really mad and i think more I people it. were mad when they admitted that they that that's what because there was two posts there was the initial post and then the second post and then uh, Hazakosis was replying and all that, yeah. So I want to know what your guys is, uh, what your guys's thoughts are. I don't even know if, if Jim is here, but I'm I, here. He's gonna be like, I don't really have an opinion because Jim, no, you know, I do. it's pretty <laughs> cut and dry. It's you have an, you actually have an opinion. Yeah, guys. For I those do. of you who don't know, Jim is very passive. He loves everything. So because uh, he loves everything, very rarely does he have like an opinion one way or the other. Because he's kind of like. The glass is half full, guy. For sure, overall. Super I'm, positive. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, they, they fixed it. It's not a good thing. It's not going to stay. They fixed it. It's cut Would you dry. have raged? Say you have, no. would have raged. No? No. I mean, like, if they would have, like, kept it in, I understand everyone's frustrations, obviously. And uh, it wasn't a good thing, but they fixed it. I mean, they made a mistake. How long did it take them to fix it? It's about 24 hours. Yeah, it was about a day, day and a half. Yeah, when they know they screw up, they'll fix it fast. They knew they screwed up. What would it take to get you, like, I want to see a moment where you, like, scream and yell you were so mad in game. Uh, What would take? Oh, in game? I was going to say, I did that before a show with the hats. In game, I was legit frustrated with the Celestial Tournament. Not, like, mad, but I was frustrated because I didn't have all the pets. And I went and, like, leveled up a level 25. I thought it would help me, and it had no use in the tournament at all. So I had to go level up another one. I couldn't power level pets like I could now, so... Do you but, ever, like, throw a mouse or, like, slam no, your keyboard? No, you know, I, I think it's with raiding because sometimes with raiding, like, it's one thing when you don't know the fight and you screw up because you let your whole raid team down. But if there's, like, an actual mechanic where I get it and then I screw up, it's not that I rage and yell. I just, I know I screwed up for the team and that's good. That's probably my most, like, awkward feelings in WoW or, or anger is, is raiding. If what I screw about up. PvP? Uh, PvP a little bit more if the, like... Not arenas, but like more for like battlegrounds if my team's not doing kind of what I would want them to do, but it doesn't get me like mad. I'm just like they're bad or they're not, you know, they should be doing something else. But I don't I don't really get mad in PvP, no. So, so it's yeah. just in we're gonna try to get Jim to like flip a table or something. Um, I was pretty mad pre show with the hats. Flip. Fifty dollar damn hat and then it's a twelve dollars and fifty cents. I was pretty pissed <laughs> off, yeah. Uh, Secret, how do you feel? Um I mean, I was there for on Tuesday when when Broken Shores opened up and all that stuff, and we noticed the the difference when mm-hmm. when I have a a blood DK who knows his rotation and knows how to mitigate a ton of damage is is on the verge of dying. In what zone? Uh, we are right in between the two flight paths where uh, the Sentinax was. And but the we Broken Shores just... supposed to be difficult. This was in and, regards to the other zones. Well, so like I get Valshara, that, right? But but just in general, like, I know they're going to hit harder, but, mm-hmm. like, they were hitting, like, fucking trucks out there. Well, yeah, because what's what was his item level? Do you know? 910. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, and I'm 898, so I'm like, okay, you know, and I heal him every day that I play, and I'm like, what are you doing? Are you, like, are you trying to piss me off? Why like, are you so sucky? Like, yeah, and he's like, dude, and I literally was watching all of his abilities being popped, and I'm just like this is fucking stupid so yeah so when i went back out there i just thought it was hard like to me it just i thought i never because it was broken shore i didn't pay attention to it until right the other yeah but when i see all of these people that are over 900 like on the verge of dying i knew something was wrong and we kind of just we we did that for about two hours and then finally kind of got a rhythm down but by then i was kind of burnt out because my hand fucking hurt from pressing all my hotkeys and I think my mouse got all super dirty from, you know, from sweat. Do you think it would have been better if they let it scale up, but stop at a certain item level? Like that way um, when you're I would leveling. say, I would say, yeah, I would say this is how the scaling should, should have worked. I mean, just to be fair is whatever type of gear they're going to allow you to acquire from world questing. Yeah. That's a, that's an item level that they should scale to. So the yeah. day that they decide that they're going to drop 900 item level gear, from a world quest and Pump then I, I, I suppose yeah. yeah but to get an 835 mm. 845 piece from a world quest i don't think it should scale ever no and and i i get that 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 too you know mm. should it level scale? yes item level yeah, level, no. level of course yeah everything should be 110 you know and have some some form of difficulty but mm-hmm. not to the point where i'm going to get pissed off because i can't kill the fucking bird so i feel or, or a seagull you know i agree um yeah. rem I don't know that you and I paid attention. I mean, I felt I felt no, like I, I noticed. I noticed, but I didn't like think too much of it because same. Like you said, short, but it seemed I, harder, I but I just I thought, thought, oh, you know. I don't like the idea at all of it scaling with eye level. It's idiotic. Um, what <laughs> it should have done was like random mobs around Broken Shore and or Broken Isles. You should be able to just kill them, not like no problem. But if you go to Surmar. It should be difficult. If you go to Broken Shore, it be, should be difficult, but it shouldn't scale with your Agreed. item level. Have it set to, like, a certain power level and then go from there. Don't, like, 
Because people are actually removing items just to help them kill stuff quicker. Oh, because yeah, that was another you thing. People... High item level and you don't have the right stats, you're fucked. Yeah, people were actually taking off gear um, for this that to be a, a thing. way to counter it. Um, actually, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, look at Dark Legacy comics, but they recently did one where the guy was taking off all his armor. He's like, I can kill him now. He's at 3 million health. <laughs> no, so. I actually didn't. I mean, I typically do, but I didn't, ca I didn't actually catch that one. I'm going to have to go check it out now. And it's it kind of sh he's the yeah it's it's a shit show. I'm glad they removed it or scaled it down. Yeah, I think they made you know pretty significant changes. Um, but which, they normally screw up. Like, can you not, guys? Like, come on, can you just be all that you can be in the army and not just don't look? Like, <laughs> for instance, I shouldn't be able to solo Sentinex stuff, but. When I have a bear druid that's helping me out and it's still it was still hard, it's like I, okay. <clears throat> I agree. Um, I yeah, I one hundred percent agree for sure. Well, I personally, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. I meant to mute, but I didn't. I personally didn't really feel. I kind of like Ram. I noticed it kind of felt weird. Um, Broken Shore. I thought it was supposed to be really difficult, so. I didn't even notice it on Broken Shore, but I did notice it when doing world quests um, around right. the other zones for the the Paragon rep for the emissaries. I did. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't go anywhere else um, that week, so. Yeah, I I did rando stuff, but I did um, kind of feel the burn on that one. So, hopefully, you know, we'll follow this pretty closely just to see kind of what comes of it. But that was oddly scandalous, guys. Um, scandalous. Like, super duper scandalous. So. That's a good show. I wouldn't call it scandalous. That is a good show. It's shady as fuck. I think it was just like. Well, like how though is how's it shady? Like so they said in PTR. I realized that everyone was doing other stuff in in PTR, but was it the exact same way in PTR? No, they never okay. said. The thing but is, they never. It was never in any notes or any build or anything. They just did it. So the community took that as scandalous. And the reason it was scandal is because they were like, oh, we just didn't know if we didn't want to tell anybody because we wanted to, you know, get your opinion. Nobody okay. said anything that, in PTR, right. so we assumed it was fine. I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. In Not Jennifer. explain. I love I'll it when you explain, explain, explain stuff. I'll explain to you. I love when you explain stuff. I'll explain it to Banks. So All right, think of it this way. It. You're playing Pokemon Go. They updated it really quick. You're dead. <laughs> and... They nerf. The I don't know what Pokemon is for you to <laughs> no, use like, that as a means to explain <laughs> what's I'm, going I'm, on. To be perfectly no, honest I with you, it. I think I just meant like scandalous sounded so like. Uh, no, like they update it and they don't let you know that they nerfed the the Pokeball. Yeah, like right. there was no because people like information on what's happening with updates and patches. Right, so I and think, it's a big change. I think so, it's yeah. because it was undisclosed, indis undisclosed, indisclosed. Right. I don't even know if that what that means, but well, they definitely screwed up by doing that. I think it just people were like somebody on the forums was like you broke my trust blizzard and i'm like wow somebody probably that's, got cheated on by his girlfriend that's uh, so going too like, far but so, i mean it uh, is yeah, he, shady he yeah. was totally being like a, a crybaby about it which i get it you know like i get it you guys gotta tell me i'm hip i'm i got the 411 yeah, and people getting four, jiggy in my ride one. like i get you um hip. so <laughs> can't get jiggy with this shit j <laughs> that was really awesome um so so that was pretty much the bulk of the news. Um, there was a lot, um, and I had to cover it in a pretty good amount of time, and I feel pretty good about that. Um, about yeah, covering it was, that. that's pretty pretty in depth. I, I think mean, we went through pretty good, at a good pace too, guys. We are fucking pros. We're getting better at this. The seventeenth of April, we celebrate three years of being a Whoa. podcast. Three years, right? Three years of being a group when of is people. It? The seventeenth, I think it's the seventeenth. Let me of check. April? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the 17th of April. It's our 156 episode, which is three-year episode. And in my Bells Bites, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we have planned for that. But let's move on. Mm. Jimma Banks, I know you were so excited to talk about what we're talking about because... Because I get excited to talk about Because you're the pet stuff. battle yeah. grand, grand master. master. Snap, back, snap back and get faster, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So... Yeah, uh, I also wanted to just say how there were so many good items. I wish I would have bought more when I'm broke, but there's so much stuff that's on sale. But uh, the Pet Battle Dungeon, I did it, and it was...
kind of fun. There's a lot of different pros and cons to it. Uh, I mean, obviously new content is good. Uh, but I don't know. I just didn't want to sound negative to, to me. It wasn't that exciting going through it. It was just, it felt kind of repetitive. I know you get this boss at the end and we've got a clip of me fighting the budding ever, ever living spore, which is the last boss. And, you know, I thought because I actually, I actually didn't really like look at any guides. I kind of just went in there and, and I had some of the better companion pets that you use for them die. So I was kind of like, thought I'd be stuck against this budding everling, uh, ever living spore, but I had enough pets and I talked to some people in the guild and that did it and like on all different levels, right? Some of the experts and some of the people that pet battle challenge for, for a lot of people, which is good. Right. So I guess I was really worried about sounding negative when I explain it. Uh, I just thought it would be more, we were all at BlizzCon and we got this fixed question that we all thought it was just actually slipped in there. Like they pre-planned some of the questions they'd ask and, and this pet battle dungeon sounded very exciting and, and it is, it's still new content, but with whatever you're fighting, the back two pets just seem to be the same two pets. So you know, you really just got to get six pets, key pets, and you'll you'll really smash through it. So I'm not going to list all those pets. If you are having trouble with it, please ask. Uh, we'll drop you comments, or there's tons of guides out there, but you really only need a couple, especially like the Zandalari Ankle Render and uh, the Terracle Hatchling is nice. The Iron Starlet said I wasn't going to name pets, and I just did. So those three are good. And uh, I enjoyed it actually. I really just, uh, I'm going to make a video for it, even though it doesn't need that much detail to it. I'm still going to kind of like cover yeah, it. Just give it. them your point of view, you know, how you do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching the video as is the people at home and the deviate, I thought it said fapper, but it's flapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting are, like, I had to do a double take. Mind, I'm like, is that fat's name fapper? What the? There's some deviate fappers watching right now. <laughs> there is some um, deviate fapper. There's no <laughs> murky <laughs> shout out to him. Right. That's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, I was really worried about discussing the pet battle dungeon just because I didn't want to sound too negative. And I, I hope it's, it's a good sign for things to come. Cause again, more, more pet battle content without taking away from the actual game that we know and love is good. Um, which is usually a concern for people, but with the amount of content, I don't think people can really say, Blizzard's wasting time on the pet battle content because they are giving us so much. And then on top of that, I just wanted to talk about the stream that we had last Thursday. A lot of fun. Shout out to all of you that are already following the Twitch channel, Pwncast. Bell will be streaming on Saturday night. And of course, there's other people within Pwncast, the Pwncast crew that, that you know, stream throughout the week. So go go uh, follow or, or subscribe or whatever to Twitch because there'll be a lot of different random streams depending on what you like and who you like right you can keep up with all the nudes as well uh, yeah. there's news on there <laughs> nice is that good is that i guess <laughs> i could share this there's a blooper i posted a gif of me oh, yeah, that was responding funny. to that gif if you follow me on twitter uh if you ask me for a link to the video uh, i took a blooper video i was recording the I think it was one of the guides I did, either the Legion Fall guide, it might have been the Nether Shard guide. And I said, if you're new to Pwncast, make sure you uh, follow to stay up to date on all your latest news. And instead of news, I said nudes. So I attempted to correct myself and then blundered again and basically just like started cursing profusely. And of course, I had to cut that out and do a retake. It's just the life of the guide creator, guys. Well, I think that's funny because I can relate to that too. So keep the bloopers coming because obviously it's not your last video and, and with videos. Yeah, there's I'm going to no just start gifing. I'm going to giffy all my bloopers so that it makes it funny. So I created a giffy of me, you know, saying fuck I want over you to show again. me how to do that. I can show yeah. you. It's really easy. I'm actually going to start giffying you guys from the show and I'm, I'm going to like rewatch and take little excerpts of you guys making funny faces and doing funny motions. And I'm no! Gonna yeah, I'm going to make, gonna you, guys too. make you guys famous. I'm going to make you guys famous. Don't you worry. That. I'm making Lore even more famous now every time I tweet his faces of Lore. Did, did you just see what I showed no, you No, I don't even want to oh. know. So listen. <laughs> Why? No. Um, Let's get that for Bell. No. Uh, Rem. I just <laughs> called Rem by his stage name. 
<laughs> uh, cherry bomb, what? <laughs> Cotton candy? Uh, fapper, actually. Oh, no. What's going I, Guys, bad. you couldn't see me because Jim's video was overlaid, but my face is like 10 shades of red because so the, deviant, the deviant fapper was on the loose. And then the deviant small claw, which just putting those together is just kind of weird. Um, so, Rem, I know last week... Everybody came to your aid because the evil witch bell. Oh, let it go. Jeez. Oh, the evil yeah, witch the bell. Yeah, out now. We can let it go. It's okay. Because here's the crap part, guys. You guys just see what happens here. You guys don't see all the bullshit that these guys put me through, especially Jeez. Rem, on a oh. daily basis. I That's only true. have the means to fight back on the show because it's the only time I have any semblance of power because I'm the one that has the record button. That's literally the only time I can get paid. That's fair. It all makes sense now. So it's the only like it's the only time where I have any control. The rest of the time I have zero control. I've lost control. I, God, that was what a great time. I can't wait for BlizzCon. You're making me excited, Rem. So what Hark, what news from the Mark? In the lore <laughs> world. What are, you, what are you trying to get at? I don't know. I Fuck. have no idea. So pretty soon, uh, and by pretty soon I mean a couple months, we're going to be going into two more, sorry, Garrus. And so next week I'll start talking about the bosses, but today I'm going to give a little bit of a backstory on why two more, sorry, Garrus is the two more, sorry, Garrus. So the Tomb of Sargeras during the building itself, during the height of the Elven Empire, was actually a grand temple to Elune, which was just outside Suramar. It was people pilgrimage from all the empire to um, pay their respects, pretty much like Mecca and all that good stuff. If you don't know what Mecca is, Google it. Oh. <laughs> I, I drive through there every two months. Really? You go to the Middle East all the time? That's cool. No, there's a Mecca in California. I know. <laughs> So, I feel uh, like you're being <laughs> racist. Is that what? No, Mecca. It's in Middle East. It's biblical. It's but nice. there's a Mecca in California. Is that? I don't Go know. On. We're oh. a melting yeah. pot. Come okay. On. Yes. I'm going to just keep I'm going to glaze right now. I'm going to let you continue and do you, boo-boo. Like, like Krispy Kreme glaze? <clears throat> so, it used to be a temple of a loon. It was one of the most grandest and largest. And so, everyone went there to worship the loon. And so after the sundering, it was in the uh, cast underneath the waves before they uh, Illidan brought it up during the Warcraft 3 timeline. That's something a little bit different. But So Eowyn was one of the first guardians, the last, second to last guardian, technically. Um, so she was fighting Sargeras, the avatar of, um, it had like a fraction of, upon a fraction of his power. And so what happened with that was he had the plan of pulling Eowyn, and um, he knew that she was with child. And so he let her defeat him. And um, so she knew that the body would still have a, a bunch of power and corrupt everything around it. So she found she knew about the Surma ruins and everything, that the, the Sundering. And so she took the body of the Avatar Sargeras into the the temple of the loon put in the, the depths of the temple and she ha made the not we made but she found the, the the artifacts of creation used those to lock it so that the power wouldn't seep out and so it was uh not only hidden but um kind of like made it made it the tomb and it ended up corrupting everything inside of it because of the power of the fell and all that so this is actually the second time we mortals or elves, they were immortal at the time, have become in, uh, have dealt with the Tumor Sagar. So, my Ev Shadow Song was chasing Illidan, and Illidan was going for a relic called the Eye of Sargeras that was inside the tomb. And that's where we find out that Gul'dan was there then so he was going for the Aya Sargeras as well but he failed uh this was when Stormweaver clan and so you find out about that backstory in Warcraft 3 actually when um you read all the blood glyphs and all that and so that's how you find that's what the the school of Gul'dan etc and so Tumor Sargeras was essentially the grandest temple of Elune that Eowyn 
tricked it and uh, locked to make it uh, a tomb. And that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, lore. Mm -hmm. I muted to make sure that I didn't hurt your feelings. Um. <laughs> but uh, next week I'll talk about three first. Well, I'm going to talk about the four first because the three are kind of miscellaneous, but Sisters of the Moon is actually pretty cool how they ended up there. I, th I nice. thought you were going to say how many pet battle or uh, PvP events there were for. The majority of the um, bosses are good, good lore, right? Because, you know, we're dealing with some heavy hitters in the back end, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, Sisters of the Moon, Maiden of Village uh, Vigilance, Fallen Avatar, and Kill Jaden are going to be <clears throat> actually having anything to really have an impact on. Right. But um, now everything about this dungeon or the raid is just seeping with story and lore so it's pretty cool seeping huh yeah hmm. seeping the lore is moist why would you say that <laughs> word the news bug you there's a video going around that has a bunch of famous people saying oh, that yeah. word and it's really? like so cringe yeah, Serene is like <laughs> moist He's it's like, like I drive. don't know what my aversion is to that word when I can say other equally dubious words and be totally fine uh words begin with the c and that doesn't bother me but for some reason i just can't deal with that at all so uh claustrophobic claustrophobic what no claustrophobic because it starts with the so c guys for oh. bells bites i wanted to tell you two things one i just did dive in slowly but surely to pvp next week we're going to be talking about the uh pvp brawls and uh stuff like that but for Bell's Bites, I wanted to tell you guys a story. I like stories. And it's not so much as a story. It's so much as a great thing that happened to me today. World of Warcraft related and podcast related, in fact. Um, so I have been getting a hold of all the old cast members, right? Everybody from the very beginning, um, even ones that many of you probably don't even know exist because you didn't watch back then. Uh, so I've been reaching out to everybody all day today. And getting them to agree to do a little 10 minute video interview with me um, so that I can present it to you guys as like a, where they are now and kind of thing and, and paying respect and tribute to those that have paved the way for us to be able to do this. So I spoke with Fryza today and I had about an hour long conversation with Fryza today, in fact. And it was, I mean, I talked to Fryza not as often as I used to, but I mean, you know, me and Fryza were still friends and all that. So I reached out to everybody and everybody has agreed except for one person. I'm just waiting for that one person to agree. But other than that, everybody's down to do it, which is really nice. We got Mass Medic, uh, Hots, Lycan. Um, I tried to get Elida, who is the original founder and creator of Pwncast, but uh, I was told that that's not going to happen. Uh, the general of the home does not allow him to do fun things like game or enjoy themselves. Um, wow. Anyway, so in my conversation, now keep in mind, Fryza has not played Legion. So he just stopped playing WoW, which is essentially why he left the show. Because we, you know, as you guys know, you, you saw him literally struggling with you know, keeping, holding on to WoW with Draenor. So... I'm telling him, like, he's asking me all these questions about Legion because he's like, listen, I know you know all the things. So and he's asking me all these things. I spent an hour going over the good and the bad, right? Letting him know what I disliked about it. What's kind of crappy? What's amazing about it? What the state of PvP is? What's good about that? What's good about that? We literally, like, the best conversation between him and I ever. And it felt so good to speak to someone on a one-on-one -on -one level that had not played and didn't know anything about it. So he then says to me after the end of this conversation, and he's like, I should buy Legion. And I'm like, you should buy Legion. You should buy Legion. You should resub and you should play because you're missing out on a great expansion. And he's like, I have tons of time now. There's nothing stopping me from playing because I have a great work schedule. I, I can play. And I'm like, I'll tell you what. You have one alliance. You have one alliance main. You have one horde main. Literally, he just swaps according to what he feels like playing. I'm like, if you level your alliance, which is his mage, I will 
level with you. I'll pick one of my alts and I'll go through. I'll, I'll show you what you need to know as we're leveling. I'll explain things to you as we're leveling. Keep you in the know so that you can do it, you know, the correct way. And he's like, how Saturday? And I'm like, yeah, that's great. Like, we totally had this conversation. And it's very rare when you get to speak to somebody who either hasn't played in a while or, or even if you're just explaining it to a stranger, I could feel the excitement that I had of explaining this game that we play. And I felt the joy of him saying, yeah, I'm totally going to get, you know, how much is it? And I'm like, I'm, ar I'm already on the website. I'm at my computer. I'm on the website trying to see if there's a discount and stuff. I, I felt so good being able to remind him of what's important about World of Warcraft and that it does change and all that and you know he couldn't handle the change of Draenor he really struggled he struggled playing that entire expansion and although I didn't understand it because I'll suffer through a shitty expansion because it's a game I love to play but as some people I'm sure a lot of you stopped playing in Draenor but it felt really good to just have feel how excited I was talking about it and even my rants when I would talk about something that's frustrating um, such as destruction right now uh, and that kind of thing. But I wanted to share that because I feel like sometimes we forget how much we love something or how sincerely and in, in, internally passionate that we are about this game. We can be really, you know, outwardly passionate. But and I'm, I'm sure like I know Secrets talked about this recently where he talks to guys at work or he, he even plays with guys at work and how like just how that feeling just makes you feel good to know that you just you connect and you oh one just messaged me it's like, like a well, passion well, right well, like it's pretty. nice to feel that passion because on a day-to-day -day, you kind of forget that love not not you forget the love but you forget the feeling right in the day-to-day -day grind and the the bitching about nerfing and the rejoicing in buffs you just kind of forget you how you feel about the game and it was just it was a really nice conversation it felt so good to not only convince him to come back and play, but it just, it felt good to be able to, to have that moment with Ryza. Uh, he's still single, <laughs> but we'll give you guys more updates um, when we do the show. I'm actually going to be doing a nice little tribute uh, for that show. I was considering doing it live, but I'm, I, I'm still, we're still not ready to go live yet. We'll just kind of see in the coming weeks what that means, but as of this moment, we're not quite ready yet. Uh, we have a little bit of being on time <laughs> issues. Even myself, I have to get used to being in the habit of us being ready because... Yeah, you're almost late. Well, sure. we don't have to be logged in, you know, like we used to. So even I forget and lose the time. So When you do the interview with Fries, it'd be cool to get him after he's relaunched to, to Legion. Yeah, I and I, I tried to get him. Actually, he was the only person that I asked to be on the show. I actually wanted him on the show because of all the people that we have lost. Fries is, is he is the, the anchor, right? He was the number one anchor for when Pwncast started to lift off the ground success wise, as far as people knowing who we were and, and really uh -huh. just taking to what we were saying and kind of holding on to that. But unfortunately, his work schedule, he works like five to midnight, which so it just it doesn't right. it doesn't jive with showtime. But um, yeah, I do. Well, when I'm I'm recording with him after he start he starts playing. So I won't record with him until probably Sunday or, you know, the following because I have a couple weeks before I need to do the the video. So I'll record everybody else's. But it just felt really good to be able to talk with him about that. And I missed, you know, um, he was somebody that I PVP'd with every day of my life for an entire expansion. So to it was really nice to just kind of remember. And we just, we talked about different things. And he was like, tell me how my mage is doing in PVP. And I'm like, fuck mages. He's like, that means they're doing great. You're right. They're still killing me. So I, um, I, I, I love that we love this game. And it's nice to have those reminders. So I thought it, it was nice. And I want people to share with me. Tell me a time when you, you know, you talked about World of Warcraft and you got that feeling inside where you just felt so good. I hung up the phone. I had a big smile on my face. And my husband was like, was that, you know, Ray? Because obviously I just used a slave name. But uh, he doesn't care. Ray is his real name. And he's like, is that Ray? And I'm like, He'll yeah. never know. So, but uh, with that being said, tell me a story. Comment on the show. Tweet to me. Tell me a story on, on, a, on a moment and how it made you feel when you either talk to somebody who used to play or just remembering that connection with somebody and explaining Legion to somebody that actually understands what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Eat me if you want to so. There's a bunch of new people at work, too, and I was randomly talking Warcraft with a co-worker who I knew play, and there was like two, three people that kind of 
perked up and they're like, I play. I'm like, what? So it was, isn't it was that such cool. a great feeling to just mm -hmm. like, yeah, like one you could tell was a complete noob. And then the other one you could tell he said he played since vanilla and was like currently raiding and stuff. So it's cool. You get all, all kind of uh, walks of life. Such a connection. God, it's such a connection. I'm going to cry. Just kidding. Uh, Do it. No. I want to make Rem cry instead. I, I always yell and honk at people when I see them have nerdy stickers on their <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah, Rem almost gets the cops called on him for harassment. He's like speeding. Like <laughs> I got, I got new stickers for the new car. I've got like the second to biggest sticker I could get from the guy I bought it from on the back window for Alliance. And then on the other side, I got Gandalf. You shall not pass. I know. I still need to figure out where to put my Gandalf sticker. My Alliance in the middle of my car is like real. It's like blasphemy though because my car's red and I totally have alliance and it even says for the alliance on the back of my car with the symbol and all that so many people do shitty like flames or stuff on their car it'd be cool to see like a cool like airbrushed alliance logo mm -hmm. on the side of like or a car like the illidari oh, cool. right like the yeah the, the green that'd be cool oh yeah i like the way you think jim i are there a line or excuse me are there warcraft inspired cars that we just don't I'm know sure about? i'm sure there's a fanatic Google. out there that has a ton of money i know or a rich husband and she probably decked her car out I but mean, my me. my red car <laughs> is paid off in two years i'm going to give that red car to my 16 year old and i'm going to get the newer version of my car and it's going to be a hatchback i'm going to follow in in the velociraptor's footsteps uh, like good old Rem so, here right. because all of my children are leaving the nest guys. This means I don't have to drive mom car anymore. I could totally get the car of my dreams and which is, it's not really a dream. It's a Chevy cruise for crying out loud, but I'm going to get the hatchback. <laughs> I'm going to get the hatchback version of that. And I'm going to get black and you're making me think Jim that I want to possibly I think an invest. Logo on my door would be so slick, like a blue, a blue car mm -hmm. or just like, it doesn't have to be all blue, but just that, cool airbrushed alliance logo on the side Rem wants me to do stickers he wants me to he wants me to do pwn cast stickers for the car i'm letting her do it so that i don't fuck it up by having us yeah he wants me to he wants me well, to do I the think there'd be a lot of people that would want one of those to be honest because uh, one it's going on the car and two i had because i have the the black strip across the windshield i'm gonna get pwn cast uh, in, in while we're talking about that in the randomness before we do our weeks and wow the kickstarter is going to be coming up soon for uh, the Pwncast Party, which is DitchCon, but we're going to be calling it the Pwncast Party DitchCon because, you know, we that's just how we're going to do it. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm doing things differently with the Kickstarter this year because there was just too many issues last year and too many things I could not control myself that I didn't like. I like when I'm taking people's money. I like to be able to know what I'm doing and who's getting what and make sure that it all goes well because it's a trust that we're building with the community and the people that support the party. So this year we're actually going to be doing it a little bit differently versus having an artist make things. I'm actually going to do bulk custom work where I basically, <clears throat> people will have a choice of a few different things and I just bulk order it from a professional off the internet and pay for it and versus having it donated to me and just being worried about things being done correctly and it being done right and it getting shipped on time. There was just too many factors that I could not control that I didn't like. Right. So, uh, the gentleman that does all of our artwork, which is Eclipses, Eclipses, uh, Taylor's his name to me. Um, he is a fucking phenomenal artist, and he's actually going to be doing custom Horton Alliance posters, uh, custom Horton Alliance buttons, custom graphics for Horton Alliance tees. Um, it's going to be 100% custom that people are going to get to choose from from the Kickstarter. So, I'm pretty excited to see what he's come up with. Um, it will be obviously something that's not been done. It will be, you know, something different custom, but the Kickstarter I'll be looking at launching next week. I'm waiting just for his input on maybe a sketch or something to give me an idea, right. uh, but the Kickstarter will be then. And, um, hopefully you guys will budget to help back our party. I did get approval from, I haven't gotten approval from Blizzard yet, but I also haven't submitted it. I did get confirmation from Hilton that, the room, the the ballroom is ours uh, for the evening that we want it, and I'm just Same waiting. Same spot. Yeah, so we're good. Like she actually spot. saved it the week they announced BlizzCon. I called her. I called her and left her a message, and I was like, "Hi, I need you to save it." And she, <clears throat> I called her secretary the other day, and she was like, "Patty told me to tell you you're you're good. Like it's done." Wow. <laughs> so all I need to do is uh, I just need to submit to get approval from Blizzard uh, to be able to have the party. So, and we mm. got approved 24 hours after I submitted it last year. Blizzard did not have a problem with the party. So, um, for those of you who are going to be in the Anaheim area, if you're planning on going to BlizzCon, plan on coming out Wednesday because the party's Wednesday evening. If you're making plans now, plan on being there Wednesday. If you're going to come all the way out to BlizzCon, you might as well come hang out with us. 
Um, and then don't forget also Con Before the Storm is Thursday, which Belle's actually going to be running the World of Podcast section with Ro and Root. Um, I'm not sure to what capacity Pwncast is going to be involved in the, the live podcasting itself, but since Belle's going to be helping, you can imagine that we will be involved in some capacity. Uh, my boys will be there doing something. So I'll pass out flyers. <laughs> Getting more free T-shirts. That was awesome. Right? Oh, um, oh, from Final Boss. And, and even pre-show, they threw they threw out a shirt, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. You get knee pads, uh, you get no, I don't need none of that. So, guys, week in WoW. Gemma, I saw you in WoW more this week than I think I yeah. ever saw you. You brought tears to my eyes three times this week. First last week when you said you would stream. <laughs> then during your stream, I was physically tearing up. Really? And then seeing you in game, like, a lot, I was like... I've been a bad Warcrafter this... this uh, Warcraft? Dur, yeah, this expansion and, and that stream. Even though, like, I just did... All I did was... Uh, you know, some power leveling, some PvP pet battles, and regular battlegrounds, which is just a regular battlegrounds. But, like, I just had a, a lot of fun doing that, and I did have fun streaming. So there will be more streams to come. I won't be able to, for sure, make it the same night every week. Um, but there will be more streams to come, and, and shout-out to those that, that did show up. And, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Week and WoW, you know, I did, like I said, just the pet battle bonus event. Uh, I didn't realize I was using the wrong Death Adder Hatchling. I specifically turned off. <laughs> I laughed so like, hard. I was watching your stream. Like, oh. And I'm like, oh, he pulled me because I've done that. It was so, yeah. Was you so... told me. You told me to use the one with the speed speed, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. I, you gave me that advice right before. Right. I forget what pet battle it was before Legion. And right. I did not use the speed speed version. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? What's going on? Yeah, you got to attack first. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, Right. And uh, things happen when you're live. And it, it was I was because I what I was also doing was I was talking about what Bell was talking about last week, where Blizzard takes the add ons and implements them in game. And even though they tried to do that with the pet battle breed or the battle pet breed ID, it's still not as good. Uh, so Blizzard should still implement when you look at a level one pet, it should tell you maybe what the stats will be at max level. So that's a suggestion for in game. But yeah, just some regular stuff. I, I've been slacking on my progression through the Timeless Isle, or not Timeless Isle, Broken Shore, excuse me. So I'll probably do a little bit of that after the show. And uh, yeah, just just some world quests and stuff. That works. Secret, I've seen you. I've seen you on the Rogue. Our ships passed in the night when I played hooky from work earlier than normal to just go check stuff out. And then I went back to work, but I did. I, went, I logged in just to play some stuff and then. Yeah, I did that last Wednesday as well. So because the patch it? was dropping. So I was like, I might as well just kind of take a day off. Um, I've been playing on the rogue a lot. I've been farming the Marks of Honor because I found a lot of gear that I actually want to use for transmog purposes. So I've been farming those on basically all my 110s and just raided, got my PvP points up on the rogue for you know reasons you know that aren't discussed anymore. <laughs> and, um, under the under the rug. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, it's fine. No, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, wait, what did you say? Nothing doesn't doesn't apply to me. I was getting the next thing I wanted to show during my week in WoW. What did you say? I didn't hear you. I said I've been PvPing a lot more on the rogue to get my points up, you know, for reasons. Yeah, you yeah. should do that. You should yeah. do that. <laughs> I mean, I was I've been saying it before I even had points, but you know, that has happened. So uh, but we'll set that up again. Anyways, uh, and yeah, I just was doing the, the healing challenge that I know I'm gonna go back into it tonight. I know for a fact and I watched a few few videos on it earlier, though. It still looks amazingly hard, but I haven't seen a video for Holy Priest yet, so I think that's where the, the difference is going to be at. But other than that, I can't wait to farm Broken Shores with all my alts and get to 110 extremely fast. What? 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 Rem? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do this week? I did PvP. We did do the PvP things, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of PvP, actually. Most I've done the past couple what months. What kind of PvP day. did you Not do? arenas. BGs. Soon, though. Soon. That works. Yeah, I, I streamed Sunday, because that's, that's my day. You did stream Sunday. 
I missed yeah. Excel's being a bum. You're being... Yeah, bum, pretty much. La lazy, lazy. I was, I was like, hey, da 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 and... I forgot he was streaming. I meant to, like, pop into a stream. I totally forgot he was streaming. Yeah. I oh, was wow. Netflixing. She she likes softy better than all of us. <laughs> I was I know right. Got told on. But no, it was cool. Uh, it wasn't really extremely active because I was streaming at like nine to twelve to get my prestige up. But two people joined the guild, so that was good news. Mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, that was my weekend while PVP. Well, I'm gonna come watch you stream. Oh yeah, and a lot of Sentinax farming. Oh, Yay, Sentinax! Give you all the things. I still have like thirty. Beacons on my in my bag. I know I have a lot of beacons too. If you want to farm that later, like tomorrow. I've seen a legendary <laughs> tomorrow. Crash, yeah, we could do that tomorrow. I have a ton of beacons. I have like fifteen in there. Um, speaking of which, uh, there's a video about Nether shards and how to properly use the Sentinax system on the YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it, please go uh, check it out. A TVS Gaming, right? Mm, no, um, I don't know who those people are. Also, before I do my <laughs> weekend wow. So I talked to you guys a little bit about Taylor, and Taylor's the guy that does, you know, he did our logo, he does all our artwork, he's like the man. So he has this app that he's been developing with his artwork, and he, it's like a game, it's like a, a click game on your, on uh -huh. your, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. No, uh, uh, it's yeah. Okay. It kind of kinda goes okay. in. It's, yeah. called, cool. it's called Yak Runner, so if you have yeah. iTunes, Android, whatever, go get it, Yak, Yak Runner. Give him some positive feedback. And um, I don't know, my camera's like completely having a meltdown right now. Hold on. My camera did not like what I just did. So nope. go and um, go and download it. Give him some feedback, but at least give him the downloads. At least check it out um, just because it's so awesome. Like he, it's kind of a, it's just getting off the ground. There's like assets that you can buy and stuff like that. So don't like expect perfection, but um, it's free and you just get you have to collect apples and it's it's a nice thing because you have to just jump and do stuff but this is not the reason I'm plugging it I was gonna plug it before he told me but he sent me a message and was like hey do you mind if I make you a writer because they're called writers right so basically he's gonna put the little beanie with the pwncast hat it's gonna be Bell pwncast for one of the little writers in the game so I'm gonna be immortalized in a game guys Oh shit! But nice. I don't think it's my character. I think it's just the hat, which is cool. Which is but cool. I got a game idea for you. I think you should make a pwncast game, and it's right on that internet wave. You know that game where you're, you you scream and you jump. You guys oh, see? Oh no! Thing? Yeah, I, I watched that for a while. So imagine a little bell, and you would scream <laughs> like bell. And scream like bell, yeah. <laughs> Die in like PvP and stuff, and it would. Run. That's actually kind of that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> but it's a cute little thing. Like it constantly goes, and you have to jump over stuff, and you collect apples, and it gets increasingly harder. You have to double tap for higher things. Mm -hmm. I can see it potentially being super addictive because a lot of those little click games, it's something for you to do while you're in the potty, right? It's just something for your, <laughs> something for you to be doing. Yak Runner is what it's called. Please Yak support Runner, my friend you. Taylor and our artist, and go and download it. Give him some you know positive reviews let's help he's going to be constantly adding to it he j it just came out of beta so yak runner is what it's called go tell him bell sent you um I just, I, I literally <clears throat> just downloaded it, so is it available in canada i i don't in know canada? if canadians are racist against yaks but it should be i mean you guys yeah. like uh they like it better if it had meese in it <laughs> Moose Runner. Uh, my Week in WoW spent a lot of time doing Broken Shore stuff. We did PvP, Sentinax farming, um, you know, doing my, my basic stuff. It sounds so familiar. I didn't get anything fun this time. Um, I didn't get anything fun done, but... Uh, I spanked you at Rock, Paper, Scissors. Whoa! Oh, shit. That's a whole... Sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera because it's like totally having a meltdown and I can see that it's having a meltdown. I forgot to I mention I don't know. That. Every time I – there it goes. We fixed it. Okay. That was really – it looks super like Gandalf oh, the Grey. This shit's so, rough. I'm actually playing right now, by the yeah, way. Yeah, so Yak Runner, guys, make sure you guys check it out. Now, uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there was anything else to mention. I don't think there was anything else to mention. I think that was pretty much it. Uh, the guild – Wiped 14% for Heroic Gul'dan. It was very sad ah. to watch. Oh, next time, guys. Yeah, they're very close to getting it. Uh, and actually, when the um, when they down Gul'dan, I'm going to let them 
people swap to alts. Oh yeah, I can actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, eat. I'm gonna let people swap to alts. Uh, alts that they want to change to their main, um, so that way we could get their all, you know, their new mains geared up in time for Tumas Argaris. So it's gonna be fun, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the show. We have provided you with fun and entertainment I and so. and yak running and yak yeah. running and hat buying oh. and yes stream announcements stream announcements scandal pet battles pvp oh. <clears throat> angry fappers <laughs> deviant <laughs> fappers no. deviant that's gonna be the name of the show this week's episode's gonna no, be deviant deviant <laughs> it's all bad uh, <laughs> we're gonna get a huge influx. In we're gonna get so many views this episode oh, because shit. the word "fap" is gonna be in the title. Murky's got, already waiting. I, I know. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, somebody, there's been a few people that have been asking me recently if we have uh, a Patreon. We do have a Patreon. I don't ever put it out there because I don't, we, you know, how we're not doing this. Like, there's no reward tier on Patreon yeah, because right. I feel like I you shouldn't. I shouldn't really? give people different content just because they're, you know, subscribing. Yeah. However, talking to Softy, Softy agrees that perhaps maybe we could do a little something special for patrons. Maybe we could do like a special video vlog or some random thing. Give me your guys' ideas. There's a couple of you that support us on the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash pwncast. Please do not feel the need. We don't like, all right, this is not a plug. This is just right. if you already follow and, or if you care about it at all. Um, give me some ideas on things. I don't feel like... I want to charge mm -hmm. people for doing more stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say like us gaming with them, but then I don't want to. But he was just like, saying he was just saying like some type of reward, like maybe just an yeah. extra something as a thank you for your patronage, which made a lot yeah. of sense to me. And because he explained it to me that way, it wasn't necessarily I'm asking for money Correct. from you and I'm gonna provide you with a service. It's more of I'm gonna thank you for, you know, every dollar helps mm -hmm. because we self support the show. We don't make no monies. We don't got no big sponsors. Ain't nobody trying to give us shit. No, no paycheck nope. here. I got tired um, drinking my soda yeah. on camera. But if you guys are interested, uh, people always ask, and I tell them when they privately ask me. I don't post it. I don't, you know, that's not something we advertise because I don't want your money, guys. I'll take it, but right. I don't want it. So right, yeah. um, I just want your love and devotion and your subscribe. Uh, that's it. And your blood. Uh, um, if you give more than $10, you get hugs. And but if you, you, if you feel like if you're already a supporter, tell me if you, you know, what you would like is just a, like a thank you for doing that. It was something we could do weekly or monthly or whatever. And then if you're not a supporter and you're interested in supporting a dollar, dude, 50 cents, like It'll dime help. piece, you know, we, we don't really, right? we're good. The show As will go on. I don't I need the Patreon for us to continue doing what we do because we're going to keep doing it. But right. we have, so, we have two websites. We have the hosting on iTunes. Like we have a lot of stuff that we cover in currently. I fight with my husband every month on budget, <laughs> but the Patreon That's actually covers the dark. Patreon covers part of that, so um, okay. it's actually kind of cool because we do have we do have people that support, and I thank you guys for doing that. Yeah, since I support on Patreon, do I have some say in what? Um... <laughs> <laughs> you do support, don't you? I do. See, when you support, you get to be on the show, guys. Let that be <laughs> let that be a reward. Guys, we're going to go ahead and get the hell out on here. I just want to thank each and every one of you cast members. I thank you for being a part of Pwncast and for doing this with me every day. And for just, thank you for being a friend, guys. Thank you for thank being Thank you for showing up. Thank you for doing show notes. Thank you for reading the show notes. Thank you for being prepared. Thank you for caring so much about what I care about. I it just every week. It's makes just me, amazing. oh, I'm actually going to talk to you about that. I got an idea for your segment. Somebody kept, people keep asking about your segment. And I'm like, we're just, we're trying to. We want to make sure you can't just talk about rating because there's the, he'll run out of stuff to talk about. Like, we really got to make it something that's good for him. So, guys. Shout out to you as well. To who? Us out to you, Belle. Well, yeah. I just love you guys. I just, I'm super appreciative. Work. Talking to Friza made me really just appreciate, not because he was horrible, but just because it makes you like. You know that. You, you think know, of things. You just appreciate. He just he gave us happen. a huge compliment. He said that he listened and it still felt very much like home when he listened to it. And that, Is he listening? Yeah, he does listen. And it, it made me feel good that he still, even with all the cast changes and all the show changes and the things that we've been yeah. through, he still feels like it's home. And I that was good. I liked him so. when I met him. He's a nice guy. Before I start crying, we're going to get the hell on out of here. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Tell me how you feel, guys. How do you feel? Hashtag. I gotta Gonna abuse remedies now that the show's over. You tricked the fans and told everyone the show was over on April Fools. This is Dude, I felt so bad. Like after a lot of people after down. the second tweet, I was like, oh, I feel people awful. People probably <laughs> really believe it.
Yeah, How shitty was... do you think that severance package would be, guys? <laughs> oh man, feel me. I, I really felt bad for that. How how was how was my other one though? The one on my my personal Facebook was it good? No, it was dumb. It I knew good? right away when I saw you it. You guys we... knew? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, we knew. I'm like, I mean. I...